This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, and today I'll be showing you how to find and catch a snake in your backyard. Now the first step is finding a snake, and that's sometimes the hardest part. Now when you're looking for snakes, a good place is around water. So where we are now is actually by a pond. This is the first place we're gonna be looking for snakes. Now not all snakes live in the water. In fact, the species we're looking for today does not live in the water. But because rodents and things need to come to water to drink, and the snakes do occasionally have to drink as well, snakes do often live near water and you can find water snakes if you're looking for those in the water or like me if you're looking for rat snakes or king snakes or racers or any of those non-venomous species you can find those usually around the banks of water systems so this is where we'll look and after this if we don't find any snakes here we're gonna move on to my backyard after about an hour of searching the pond and yards around my neighborhood I finally found what I was looking for. Now look at that. That is the first real snake of the year. That guys is a beautiful black rat snake. Basically what we were doing, if you look around me, we're literally, we're standing in my backyard right now. Uh, a lot of people think that there aren't animals in backyards, but definitely things, reptiles especially like this black rat snake are quite prevalent in these suburban areas because you know the housing makes shelter for rodents and the rodents are preyed on by these guys right here. So you do find lots of different snake species in and around suburban developments. Now, as you can see by the, by the sky shots we had earlier, it's a kind of a cloudy day, it's partly cloudy with some sun. Now it's a really great day to look for black snakes. Now really, really sunny days sometimes get too hot for these guys, but on days when there's passing clouds and sun, you can find these guys out sitting in sunny patches like yards, and on driveways, they love to sit in places like that. Now, I have not touched him, and you can see he's in defense mode. He has his head up. He's trying to figure out if I'm a threat or not. And today, the goal of the video is to show you how to safely and effectively capture one of these snakes. Now, there's a couple different reasons you might need to capture a black snake. As one of the most common backyard reptiles that we have here in North Carolina, you may simply want to remove one from your property. Now, of course, there's very little reason to do that because black snakes do act as rodent control. Uh, but if you did want to capture a black snake, this is how you would do it without injuring the animal or getting bitten yourself. So he's kind of going through the grass. Now you see, I'm just sitting beside him right now, a wild black snake, and he's really not doing much. He's just kind of going along with his daily life. He's just slithering through the grass, looking for rodents, minding his daily business. And a black snake will not bite you uh, unless harassed. As you can see, he's absolutely calm right now. I'm just walking beside him and he's just kind of slithering beside me. Now this one's probably a three foot individual. So this is a mature adult. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female. It could be either. Here in early spring in North Carolina, uh, both male and female snakes will be looking for mates. But black snakes are one of my favorite animals to work with. And so the, the first thing you're gonna wanna do if you're going to remove a snake from your yard is to is just approach it calmly and slowly. So what I've done, I've kind of walked up beside it. Let me show you the approach. So when I came up to it and I saw kind of from a distance it was a snake, I just kind of crept up, not, not stopped up, just walked slowly, walked calmly. You can just approach it like this. And uh, you know, he'll kind of look, he'll, they'll probably look at you, they'll check you out, they'll flick their tongue to try and smell you. But that's really all they're gonna do when you approach them like this. And they'll probably sit here on the grass exactly like this one is doing. Now the second step is probably the most important part. That's the first contact. First contact with the snake is absolutely crucial because if the snake decides it doesn't like you upon first contact, there's an excellent chance it's going to be irritated with you and it may even strike. So what we're gonna do is I'll show you right here. When you first put your hand on any wild snake, okay, the very 1.1, step 1.1 is identify. If you see a snake in the yard and you've approached it calmly and it's just kind of going through your yard, you need to be 100% sure that you know the exact species this snake is. If you are not exactly 100% sure that this snake is non-venomous and is safe to handle, you shouldn't touch it. That's it. 
that's the end of the tutorial. Make sure you identify the snake. Now I know this is a black snake simply because there are no other large black snakes that live in this range here in North Carolina. Uh, and I've studied snakes for many years, so I know my snakes. But if you are even a little bit unsure of what the species is, don't touch it. All right, so now for step two, first contact. Like I was saying, this is after we approached it and identified it slowly and it's kind of calmly going through the yard. Now, if you leave these snakes alone, they'll probably slither off your property eventually. But if you really do want a snake removed and you want to transport it to a different location, here's what you're going to do. When you put your hand on a wild snake, just calmly like that, now the snake is gonna move, kinda, it, it jerks a little bit. Did you see that in the camera? How it tensed up? Now snakes do that a lot. I would say don't start putting your hand near its head, uh, just calmly and slowly touch the snake. So once you've done that, what you can do is see how the snake reacts. Now right now he's pretty tense. He may or may not be feeling defensive, but now that he started moving again, what I can do is just move my fingers just ever so slightly so they're wrapped on the bottom of him. And then come in with my second hand and hold. And see, now the body language of snakes takes some getting used to. Right now, this one doesn't seem to be very aggressive. So what we can actually do now is just support his weight and pick him up. And just like that, completely wild black snake may or may not have ever been handled by a human being before. And just like that, you can pick him up. And he didn't freak out, I didn't get bit and we're both completely safe and completely happy. Now at this stage, depending on the snake and depending on the experience of the handler, you can do a couple different things. If you get a snake super calm like this, it's pretty easy to transport them to a different location. You can literally just walk them there. Uh, but another option is actually to put them in a pillowcase and transport them by car. Now putting a, a snake in a pillowcase may sound a little funny at first, but actually uh, they do like small dark spaces it's it's where they live they live underground in small dark spaces so actually pillowcase is not a bad place at all to put a snake now i can show you how to do that but we're actually not going to move this one anywhere we're going to keep him right here in our yard because we want to keep these native snakes around because they are extremely important to the ecosystem and to us so in the ecosystem they help kind of limit the numbers of smaller mammals things like rodents they also eat bird eggs uh, they feed on just a variety of different things. They're very opportunistic feeders. Anything from bird eggs, baby birds, smaller rodents, smaller snakes occasionally is what these guys will be eating. So we're definitely going to leave them here. We won't be transporting them anywhere new. But I will show you. Let's grab the pillowcase out here. Now you'll notice the snake right now. For being a wild snake, you might be surprised at how calm he's being. And I'm confident in my ability to handle a snake like this in a relaxed manner while doing other things over here. But if it's your first time holding a snake, you're probably not going to want to do that. I would focus my attention on using two hands to support his body weight and make sure that he feels secure. That's the most important thing when you're holding them. So here's the pillowcase. You can use any size pillowcase, any color, it doesn't really matter. And all you do is, if you're doing it by yourself, what I usually do is just get the pillowcase down to the ground and I'll go, let them go head first. And a lot of times, snakes will go right into it just like that because they like that dark space and they like to feel secure. And so just like that, if you were trying to transport this snake away from your property, you could just close that bag. Now, tying the bag is extremely important. What I do is I take the bag in two hands like this. I kind of close it together. And then I take the top, make a loop there. And then I just bring that through with one knot and push it through. So all, all we did right there was make one knot in the bag and you're gonna make, that way the snake can't crawl out because if you tie it any other way, that snake will crawl to the bag in your car when you're trying to move him. So at this point, the snake is completely safe. He's in a bag, he won't move around a lot because he feels secure and you can put him in a car and take him to a new location. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna put him right back here in the woods. So let's do that right now. So let's just untie the bag and get him back in nature. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is release this awesome snake here. He or she has been an absolute joy to work with today. It's just a perfect example that, first of all, snakes are not naturally aggressive, or at least not all species. And two, that you can easily catch and remove a wild snake rather than killing it. All right, let's get this black rat snake back. There you go, girl. Right here, in the woods. Good job. Alright, see ya. Thank you.
Well everyone, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about how to catch snakes. Make sure to check out my new website using the link in the description. And subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.